Hello, do you know in orchestrator we have something called parameters, the input values we can pass it and the output values we can pass it. So how is that possible one can use the parameters? So do you know how to utilize this parameter? So let's learn the example of input and output parameters. So let's get started. Myself Rakesh, I am from UiPath Expo Hub. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and do hit on the like button. So the very first thing that I have to do is I'll go to UiPath Studio and I have to design a very simple workflow to understand how this input parameter works. So for that, I would simply take a message box. Okay. And so there are input, I will pass two input parameters and I would try to utilize one output parameter. So let's see how to do that. To pass parameters are nothing but kind of variables. So we can utilize the arguments section um, of the studio to create such parameters. So parameters are nothing but your arguments or variables which can pass value. The best part is I can change that from the orchestrator. I don't have to come and do the hard coding. I can just change it from the orchestrator. So let's see how to do that. So the very first thing I will do is I will declare three different parameters. So one is the parameter, let's say parameter one, you can give your own name and let it be a string type. You can define any kind of parameter, data table, any kind of data type you want. So I'm simply using a, a string type parameter for at this moment. Done. And the other one, the third one, I would also show you how to utilize the output parameter. Okay. So here I would select it as output. All right. So this three parameters, I have done it. There are two different ways. One is you can pass the value from your studio. Otherwise you can leave it blank and run it. So I will show uh, both of it, you know, in case you are passing the value, how can you change it later easily through orchestrator? So the very first one, let's say, let me say, hello, let's say good morning, Rakesh. And the next parameter value, let's say, I'm going to pass, how are you? Okay. And the third is the output parameter, which I'm going to show you how to utilize that. So the very first thing in the message box, if I'm saying parameter one, it will just say, good morning, Rakesh. If I am saying parameter two, it will say, how are you? And the parameter three to use that, let me, because this is out, right? When it's a out kind of a parameter, that means it will take something from your local system and then it will do the job. So, and uh, input parameter means it is taking the data from the orchestrator and giving you some output and output parameter means is taking the data from your local system and then showing it as an output. So that is the difference. So the very first thing I will do is I'm using an assign activity and here let me say parameter three, which is the out kind of parameter. And here I'm going to define something. So for this, let me use a bigger screen and define it here. So I am going to write system dot, then you have date time dot if i say now this is going to produce me the current date and time okay and here i am going to set to string because my parameter is also of string type okay so depending on your uh, data type you can define it so i have done it so now what this will do this is going to collect the data from my local system and is going to show us the value in the parameter which is the out kind of a parameter which is going to take the data from the local system and show it okay so this is done now what i'm going to do here i'm going to show that output over here parameter three clear okay so now i have utilized the input to parameters and output parameters okay so our job is not done it here once you design this workflow and also remember these parameters will only work only when you are in the main if you are creating a new sequence here and trying to define all of this and it will not function okay so it, you have to always define your parameters in the main workflow so now i have defined it i am going to publish it to the orchestrator and i am going to say publish so the package has been deployed in orchestrator let me go to orchestrator now in the orchestrator if you scroll down go to packages okay so you will see uipath expo parameter this is my 
uh, workflow and few seconds ago this has been updated so if i want to see that you can click on here and you can see 1.0.6 version of this workflow has been updated just now okay now the next step you have to do is very simple all you have to do is hit on processes okay and here you have to create a processes so click on the plus sign select your package and then select the recent version which will be automatically be selected and then your environment i am going to select one of the environment and then in the input value if you see the parameter one parameter two has been inherited its value from the package so if you remember in the package i have defined two val values good morning rakesh and how are you so these two values are getting inherited from my studio okay and the output value value would remain as it is so let me click on create so now the package has been created and if i run this now you will see what's going to happen and i'm going to select the robot and hit on start so the very first message i'm expecting from the parameter one as per the workflow is good morning rakesh you can see it has come and the next one is how are you and the third one is system date and time which has come okay so this is how i am utilizing now why i have to do it i can simply utilize a variable and do the job right i will tell you why we need to do this let's say i want to change the value on a later point of time or it's a the frequency of change of the data is very rapid i have to change now and then for that if i go to click on view processes i have the option to change the parameter value so i can hit on the edit button instead of let's say uh, good morning i say let's say good evening okay to somebody else let's say so you can change your values over here and then um, let's say i'm i'm going to say have you so another thing you will notice have you completed the package let's say have you completed the package design okay so the other part you would see um, this one you know you can if you simply type without putting a uh, quote even that would take the data okay that is the uh, one of the another benefit so if i click on update here it is quite easy for me to change the input parameters and i can simply run it now you will see it will give me a different value which i have just entered now if i run it is going to say good evening rakesh you can see how easily i can change the parameter values have you completed the package so this is how you'll be utilizing the orchestrator parameters thank you for watching guys in case you have not subscribed please do subscribe to our channel please do hit on the like button thank you so much have a wonderful day